I bring you all also the very warm felicitations and personal greetings of our president, President Muhammad Buhari, whose love and appreciation of the people of this state is very well known to all and has been here at least twice for the last few months. And on behalf of the president and the federal government, we once again salute His Excellency Governor uh, Professor Mbaka Naumara Zuli and his hardworking team for their dedication and commitment to working with the military and the federal government to restore peace and normalcy to Bono State. Your bold, courageous actions have been instrumental in restoring confidence to residents and visitors and have enabled business and social activities to resume and flourish in this state. Bono State has been and has always been a famous center of learning, agriculture, and commerce from time immemorial. And we must all ensure that we should restore it fully to that enviable status. As is well known, MSME clinics serve as a bridge between the federal government, the state government, and small businesses in each state. It does this by bringing all relevant regulatory agencies whose work impact on the business experience of small businesses together in one place to consult and solve problems over a one or two day period. The idea is similar to providing an opportunity for patients to consult doctors in a mobile clinic. We realize, of course, that all the needs and queries of MSMEs cannot be met in a one-day period, which is why we also encourage state governments to establish MSMEs one-stop shops. There are office facilities provided by state governments, and these one-stop shops are actually office facilities provided by state governments who partner with our MSME clinics so that their clients or, the or, or these small businesses can access the services of the regulatory agencies more readily and cheaply and on a continuous basis. Shared facilities for MSMEs are yet another innovation of the MSME clinics. A shared facility is provided by an MSME cluster and we, the federal government that is, will pay for the cost of such a shared facility by installing specialized machinery that can be used or rented for short periods by business owners. Such facilities or shared facilities help to, re to relieve the financial burden of having to purchase their own equipment while giving them the access to the very latest equipment. So for example, you have in a state, we have in, in, the, in and we have a shared facility for shoemakers. And in, in Edo State, we also have another shared facility. The whole idea, and that's for uh, carpenters and cabinet makers, people who make furniture. The whole idea of that is to ensure that small businesses can go to a place where we have very high quality and expensive equipment that individual businesses would not have been able to afford on their own. So they go to these facilities, they can use the facilities on a rental basis, and they can do whatever they want to do, but whatever businesses they want to do, whatever aspects of their production line they want to meet, they can do there. And of course, uh, the shared facility, as I said, is paid for by the federal government. So it's therefore a great joy for me to announce today to, the, uh, to this state, and the entire people of Bono State, that the federal government, working with our private sector partners, will put up a world-class shared facility for MSMEs. <laughs> Furthermore, Mr. President has directed that such a facility must reflect the choices of the people of the state and must be commissioned within the next four months. With these, with these matching orders, the relevant federal and state agencies and the relevant private sector partners will get to work and quickly identify a viable cluster for the benefit of MSMEs in the state. 
in addition to its other interventions, especially in providing infrastructure and improving the business environment, the federal government is committed to supporting MSMEs because we know that the can-do spirit of Nigerians, when given the necessary impetus, is a driving force for innovation and creativity. And these are known catalysts for rapid economic progress. In response to the severe economic problems that were caused largely by the fallout of the COVID-19 pandemic, the President initiated the Economic Sustainability Plan. A key part of the plan was the MSME Survival Fund, which consisted of several different, uh, several different uh, palliatives. Through uh, the payroll support program, for example, which is one of the components of the survival fund, we were able to help businesses across various sectors to keep their employees by paying their salaries for three months. Similarly, artisans and transporters got support to help them overcome the negative impact of the lockdowns and the restrictions on movements that affected their livelihoods. The survival fund was steered by Ambassador Mariam Katabi, the Honorable Minister of State for Industry, Trade and Investment, who is here with us today. And it's pleasing to know that the MSMEs in Bono State benefited fully from all tracks of the survival fund scene. The data, shows, the, de the data shows that so far, close to 30,000 MSMEs have benefited across the state with a total amount of about 1.5 billion, helping both businesses and employees and owners alike. To participants at this clinic, let me repeat as I've said to those, to some of those that we've met already, this clinic is for you. An MSME clinic is like a hospital for small businesses. To make your complaints to the secretariat team or to the regulatory authorities, and I'm sure all the issues will be addressed satisfactorily. And since you have them with you, you can make suggestions and observations to them. They are at your service here. Before I conclude, let me say uh, to you, Governor Zulu, that the entire country has observed with admiration the dedication, commitment, and compassion <laughs> and the integrity that you have approach your duties as governor of this state. At a time of such uh, immense security challenges and economic challenges, in the midst of that crisis, you have built several housing units, close to 10,000 housing units and so The first flyover in Borno State, several mega schools. And uh, you have shown and demonstrated what can be achieved with clarity of vision and even with small resources when the leader has a love for the people that he serves. Well done and keep it up. God bless Bonnie State, God bless the Federal Republic.